sometimes doing what's best for customers isn't always going to make them happy. Hi, this is Shep Hyken, customer service and experience expert, and today I'm going to discuss the importance of customer centricity. Now let's start off by defining what it means to be a customer-centric company. If you Google the words customer-centric or centricity, you'll find many definitions from many different sources that are all very similar. Now I actually prefer using the term customer-focused over customer-centric. Now a general definition of a customer-centric or customer-focused organization is one in which everything is centered around the customer. In other words, all decisions that are made, the good ones, the bad ones, and even the tough ones, always keep the customer in mind. Discussions about every new system being put into place, every new line of merchandise being developed, every new location that is being planned, every website change, and in one word, everything warrants a discussion about how it will impact the customer. In addition, all employees recognize their role in the customer's experience, even those employees who never have direct contact with the customer. Now here are a couple of examples that are going to make this point. After hearing multiple requests from customers, a manufacturer decides to add a new color to a line of merchandise. Why? Well, it's reasonable uh, that they requested it and it won't cost much to set it up. So as a result, the customers are happy because of the extra choice. The company's decision was made because they knew their customers were asking for it. The company listened and responded. It was obvious that the decision of adding another color would make a positive customer impact. This one was easy. Now, what about a tough decision that a company knows will not be well received by the customer, such as perhaps a, a price increase? Raising prices may not make the customer happy, but what if the company didn't take this action? If the price doesn't go up in order to continue to sell the same product profitably, something else might have to give. Not raising the price may mean a compromise in the quality of service. The choice to raise prices, even knowing the customer might not be happy, may have to be done. Or maybe it's a decision about something behind the scenes that the customer won't see, but may still have negative impact on the customer, maybe even worse than the customer's concern over a price increase. But these decisions are always made with the customer in mind, even if we know they're not going to be positively received by the customer. Now, customer centricity shouldn't be a concept that is just bantered around. It should be woven into the very fiber of the organization's culture. Every employee must be part of this culture that permeates throughout the entire organization. The best companies do this. So if you haven't already done so, make the decision for your organization to be customer focused. It will positively impact your customers, your employees, and your bottom line. Well, I hope you enjoyed the short lesson please be sure to visit my website, which is www.hyken.com. There you can find more information about my speaking programs, as well as hundreds of customer service articles that you can read and share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken, reminding you to always be amazing.